Good morning, good morning, good morning. God is good. Today is a great day. Uh, even in the midst of your test, trials, troubles, it is a great day because you're on the side with the land of the living. And so it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Trust in the Lord with everything that I have. Uh, this morning, I want to talk to you. Um, the situation that um, caused you to stop doing what it is God uh, called you to do is it was designed it went through a process just to get to you um the reason why you're struggling with that thing now is because it's a plan a plot to stop you that bad relationship that you was in it was designed to stop you from hoping and wishing and having faith and love um that financial situation or those financial situations that you kept going through and that you kept talking about good morning maddie uh it was designed to stop you listen the devil did not just um start doing just anything out of the blue um to try to keep you from being who god called you to be or what um god called you to be or how doing you know whatever it is that god called you to do the devil didn't just be like oh he didn't just wake up and was like uh yeah let's try this on her today no the thing that is coming to stop you is something that was designed to stop you uh he's not trying to play games with you he didn't come to um play patty cake he came to destroy and so a lot of times when people say that word destroy they think that we're talking about your life well yeah he don't like your life but the problem is he can't kill you he can't kill you okay he has to ask for permission he has to go get permission for this stuff so that fear that you keep wrestling with it was designed that's why it is is working if you allow it because it was designed to go into your low self-esteem into your um insecure places it was designed just for you it is not something that was designed for princes and then since it didn't work on princes he passed it off to you no it was designed just for you and so the reason why you having trouble is because you don't understand that the same problem you have you have the solution to it too the lord is not going to leave you out there by yourself he's not going to leave you out there struggling he's not going to leave you out there where you don't know how to fight the enemy he has a plan and that plan if you want to win you have to seek him and so in order for you to be victorious you have to seek the one that gives out the victory the one that has already claimed the victory so it was designed to stop you uh those distractions those people that come into your life they were placed in your life to distract you um they did not just come out the blue okay those people that um come into your life and look like they soak up all your energy and wear you way all the way out good morning david uh, they wear you all the way out. Those people were designed to distract you. They were designed, okay? They were placed into your life for this reason. Jada, thank you for that because you're the first one to join me. So I thank you for that. I'm telling you, there's no secret, um, no mystery, no, uh, he's not that smart, y'all, uh, he has to use weaknesses. He has to use your desires. He has to use those of you that have been praying for a spouse. You wonder why you keep getting all these other things before you get the one that you prayed for. Well, the enemy knows that if you just wait on the one that you prayed for, then you will enjoy yourself. But if you just take everything before the one that you prayed for, you won't want the one that you prayed for. See how that works? You won't want that. You won't keep striving to be what God calls you to be because you'll be discouraged in it. And that's why the scripture tells us not to grow weary in well-doing because you will reap if you faint not. And so if he can get you sidetracked, if he can get you disturbed, if he can get you to have low self-esteem, if he can get you to fear that thing that God told you not to fear, um, if he can get you to walk away before the blessing comes, if he can get you to doubt the Lord, because you've already asked the Lord several times. But they that wait on the Lord, he will renew their strength. They will mount up like with wings like, like eagles. Okay? They will mount them up. They will, they will fly and go past buzzards and uh, this other little stuff that's walking around picking at the ground. But see, the devil knows that if I can get you off course, if I can make you lose 
uh, your attention span. If I can make you feel like that situation not going to work. If that business deal went bad. And so now, because several business deals have gone bad, you think that you don't have the anointing. You think that you don't have the ability. You think that you don't have that, uh, uh, that touch from God. So that way, you won't do it no more. You won't do it because the sister at church uh, threw you off. You won't do it because you tired of going through that same thing. You won't do it because your money still look the same. Your blessings, I'm telling you, a majority of the people that are wrestling with financial situations, your blessings are tied into your obedience to God. Your financial breakthrough comes with your obedience to God. When I start being obedient to God, different things started happening in my life to place me in places or situations where I start receiving the thing that God wanted me to have. But because I allowed the enemy to distract me, because I start fearing that thing that God had placed inside of me, because I allowed what people were saying to go into my spirit and they was telling lies. See, that's what the enemy knows, that you will believe a lie. You will sit there and believe a lie before you will believe the truth. You will think that what they said about you is more important than what God said about you. You will think that your situation is not going to get any better even though God showed you that it was. You will think that you're never going to, I ain't going to never get no husband. I ain't going to never get no wife. I ain't going to never come out of this situation. I ain't going to never, I ain't got nobody. Yes, thank you, Jackie. Yes. So, it's designed, baby. It's designed. This, this stuff is designed. But when you start thinking about the fact that the enemy has to go ask for permission, that's the part that y'all, we need to focus on. In order to do what he's doing, he has to ask for permission. If the Lord gives him permission to do that to you, that means the Lord has the utmost trust that you're going to make it through. Good morning, cuz. I love you. That means that you have the endurance. You have the strength. You have the ability. You have the power. You have the anointing. You have what's inside of you to do what it is. I want to be like Job. Whenever the enemy went to God and asked, can I do this to Job? The Lord said, yes. He didn't do it because he don't like Job. He don't want to be bothered with Job. Job deserved everything that he got. No, Job was up. He was upstanding before God. The reason why the Lord allowed it because he had faith in Job. And I wonder today, does the Lord have, I know he has faith in you, but can he have it? Are you going to come through? Are you going to come through and make a decision today that, you know what, I am, I'm, I'm not going to keep being sidetracked. I'm not going to keep being ran over. I'm not going to keep being belittled. I'm not going to keep being talked about. And letting it bother me and distract me and pull me to the side. I'm not going to keep on. I'm not going to keep on wondering and thinking and daydreaming. Because that's what we do in daydreaming. Or sleeping all night dreaming and then don't get up and do nothing that he asks us to do. The devil has a plan. Thank you, David. The devil has a plan. The devil has a way of throwing us off he'll send people to your videos to say stupid stuff he'll send people to uh cause some distraction he will send red flags he will send um you know you think you got rid of all them more crazy folks he'll send some more crazy folks okay he going to keep on because his job is to keep on to get you to quit to keep you to get you to turn away from god to get you to be lost to get you to be confused that's what he want to do. That's his design. To get you to be uh sad, depressed, wandering, wiggling around here on earth, thinking that all hope is lost. Everything is, you know, destroyed. Whatever. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not this year. No devil. I'm going to walk in it. I'm going to trust the Lord. I'm going to read the word so I will know what it says. Because I'm, I'm living off my grandmama's scriptures. I'm living off my mama's scriptures. I'm going to read the word for myself so that I know how to apply it to my life, my children, my stuff. 
Yes, I'm going through right now, but I, if I got the word, I got me some stuff to help me to get through these situations. I got me something on the inside that when I speak, it's going to come out. And so that's what we got to do. The devil want all of the stuff you done been through to keep you from being who God called you to be. He done worked on it, baby. Some of y'all, he done did so much because he no, if I ever let her out the gate, if I ever let him out the gate, ooh, Jesus, they're going to change lives. They're going to speak over. They're going to speak over situations. They're going to start uh, walking in authority. They're going to start speaking things that the Lord told them to speak. No, if I keep them depressed, they're going to keep mumbling. You got to walk in it. You got to know that the Lord is going to take care of you. I, I'm not sitting around here. I'm giving testimonies, but that don't mean I ain't going through nothing. I'm giving testimonies because I'm letting the devil know, baby, you don't have victory over me, sweetie. Go sit down. Uh, look here. You can't, you can't have my kids. You can't have my husband. You can't have my money. You can't have nothing. You can't have my parents. Okay? You can't have me. I'm not going to be depressed. I'm going to walk in the joy of the Lord because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Strength. Not just happy. My strength, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Keep saying it till you process what that really means. Not that I'm going to be walking around here happy, but the joy of the Lord is my strength. It's how I keep going. It's how I keep making. It's how I keep pushing. It's my strength. See, he wants your head to be down. He wants you to be walking around. All right, Toriel. I hope you mean in a good way. He wants you to be bold in it. He wants you to be like, hey. What you got today? Like, call him out instead of him calling you out. Look for you and you over in the corner somewhere because you tired. You weary. Nope. I'm telling you, I hope that I put fear in hell. I hope that I make hell tremble. I hope that when I speak and open up my mouth and do these videos, I hope that it goes to somebody else's ears and disturb the devil's peace. I know he don't like the way I sound. I ain't like the way I sound myself, but he even did that. He designed that so that I wouldn't talk to people. He made me think I, you talk too country. You too hard. You don't have a lady voice. You got raspy voice. All of that. He did all of that. Said all that old stupid stuff. And so I kept letting that destroy me. Kept letting, look, kept letting letting it hinder me. I said, Lord, whoever want to listen to me will listen to me. Whoever want to follow will follow as long as I follow you, Lord. Whatever. The devil will tell you that your eyebrows is jacked up and you'll be worried about your eyebrows and won't witness somebody because your eyebrows jacked up. I'm just telling y'all, he'll, he'll come over whatever it is that he know going to cause you not to do what it is that the Lord called you to do. It don't even matter. Remember, she she lied to you, and, and the Lord telling you to give her a hug, and when you give her that hug, you're going to turn around, and you're going to be blessed because you did what the Lord told you to do. But he'd be like, you remember she lied on you. Remember she stabbed you in the back. Remember? Remember how he treated you? Remember he lied, you know, he, he stole your stuff the last time. Remember? The Lord said, vengeance is mine. You don't even have to worry about that. That's why I said, learn all your scriptures, every last one. So every time the devil come at you, you'll have something to tell him. Something to make his behind back, back over into the corner and go back to hell, which he came from. You need to make hell tremble. I'm telling you. And so that's all I have for you this morning. Thank you, David. I appreciate your support. You know, I used to come on here and it'd be one person. And guess what? One person, I'd be talking to one person. i start out with one person. And then some people be like, well, I'm just so nervous. I'm worried about what people think. Let me tell you something. Worrying about what people think about you. When the Lord has called you to do something, <laughs> baby, you ain't doing that but blocking your blessings, blocking everything that is attached to you. But guess what? Good morning, Tammy. Guess what? When you block your blessings, that don't make any sense, right? So that's the enemy. That doesn't make any sense for you not to have all that God wants you to have. It doesn't make any sense for you not to go after everything that you dreamed of. It doesn't make any sense. So the devil knows that. So that's what he does. He tell you stupid stuff. And then you be sitting around looking around the room. And the person, look, that you were worried about, half of them ain't even thinking about you. He making you think they're thinking about you. So y'all have a blessed day. Get busy. Okay? Get all the way busy. Be so busy that you mind your own business, because that's what I talked about yesterday. Be so busy that you mind your own business, that you be productive. And thank you so much to everybody. Love y'all.